Hello. Altia. Hello there. Yautjachta uh, Seedsta. Yautjachta is my Indian name. Lois Landgreave Seedsta. Lois Landgreave is my English name. So in the last couple of days, we've been going over um, our ancestors. Uh, and I had put together this little small activity um, to kind of um, uh, engage uh, in recalling our ancestors by taking a nice stroll through Honorville. So a walk through Honorville, tis a bush, all tea, shakale dolly. So, um, and a shuck is to um, something up high and ale, kale is um, uh, putting something or holding within a pie. The ale is doing it continuously. So shakale is holding up and ollie is area. So honor is holding somebody up in high respect. And of course, Ollie is the vil part. So, tis abush al tis kailed Ollie. Wanted to make sure bring the bar down. Yes, I got it now. I was like, ah, I'm on mute. Sorry, folks. The bar wasn't showing. <laughs> so um again, tea sabush, uh all a tea uh shakale dolly. So and again, I'll explain. Uh shuck is having something high. And the eel is holding it within or continuing. So the honor is holding somebody up in respect. So Shakeld Ali is Honorville. And as you see, there are several buildings in Honorville. So hopefully this will work. Night hot. There we are. We're starting our walk. Sorry if it's a teacher and children. This was meant for school. So, Ugh, chill all tea, all all. We've arrived to a house. To Shashil all tea, a school bite, Ollie. So this is, of course, the road called Dog Alley. And Guat Kui to Slashil, who had once lived here. Ah, ah, see. Saswi Chab, E-T-E, to Schistwitz. So this is uh, Martha Lamont and her husband, Levi. And of course they lived by uh, or at Dog Alley and Ob's Squab Kubai Aquicot. So they've had a lot of dogs. So, and this is why this was named. So again, Saswichab and E.T. Tuschis um Levi Lamont. So, and they were both, um, language warriors and historians. So they definitely played a large role 
and contributing to the Lashutzi the dictionary. And I have. And we are on our way. So, Bala Abush Chash, Alati Shakail Dali. And we are on the way. Ush Chill, Alati He Bulb. So we've arrived to the Hebob Cultural Center and Natural Preserve and um, Guati Ati to Stobsh ET Zilkus at Cultural Resources Bashu Dahatab. Bulb Cultural Center. So, and this is Kwitlam uh, Kanum. So, and this is Hank Gobin. So, and he did a lot of work for um, cultural resources. He was the director manager, um, and he also had worked for Salmon Solutions, and uh, he was uh, an art major down in Santa Fe, and he's done a lot of work um, under cultural resources for FAP and other type government uh, work, and uh, just all around awesome uh, cultural, uh, um, yeah, cultural uh, person. Bala Eva's chest. What clad? Chad, Chad chest. Where are we? Ush chill. All the tea, uh, uh, tech, techy tub a tea look. Um, this is a, a senior home, a community senior home of Tulalip elders and A-T-E-H, two stoves, Stan Jones, Shohalem, Shohalem, two dots. So, and that was his Indian name. He was uh, our true leader of Tulalip tribes. Uh, and he was a uh, Tutup Shida. He was a, a veteran and Zivkas and a definite leader of um, even advocating for uh, sovereignty and uh, fishing rights. And if you notice right near, right next to us, Cheat Al Altia. Um, is Kaya Hachpayats. That's Grandma Cedar. And Bala Eba Shash. We continue walking. And ooh, chill. All the tea. Sadi. Klach dup, Holly. This is a very special garden. And Atsi to Shladai, Tak Shablu. This is, of course, a wonderful lady. And she, her Indian name was Tak Shablu. So um, she had this beautiful garden named after her. So, and it has a lot of our indigenous plants. So, um, she was a, a dynamic Lashutseed warrior, and um, she was a translator, she was a speaker, she was a storyteller. Um, so she went around just advocating and 
um, speaking internationally around the world about the importance of preserving uh, indigenous and first people languages. So, talk show blue, diet hot. And Bala Abash Chash, oh, God, Ush Chil Chash. And we were walking along, stopping, and our next stop is um, the fish hatchery, Bernie Kai Kai Gobin uh, salmon hatchery. And he was the director of the uh, fisheries. He was also um, a carver, and uh, we recall he was a definite treaties warrior advocating for our fishing rights. And he, of course, pushed for having a hatchery built to um, assist the salmon and making sure our salmon runs um, continue. And onward, oh, chash, what glad. And chill, cheat all tea, see a home to question. So, this is, of course, a story poll. So I wonder who's here. Ah, to stobj gual, to ayak, al ti ish, um, yachwala. It looks like Hokanum uh, is working on an eagle, an eagle top, to one of his poles. So, and Aya uh, is a. Uh, uh, carving on, uh, yeah, carving. So, and you see he has the ads right there on top, one of his hand tools. So, um, he worked on many polls. Uh, there was one poll that went to Wisconsin, one of their state parks. So, and it has been transported back since it's been restored and eventually it started to decay. So the state got a hold of uh, Tulalip and now it's going, it's in storage at one of the, uh, one of the Burke Museum storage um, facility. So it's neat that one of his, you know, story poles, you know, went away from the state and it's come back close to us. So I think that's neat. Anyway, uh, William Shelton, he was a definite leader and he helped to, um, to get the Lachutzeed, not Lachutzeed, to get the longhouse of Tulela built um, in 1914. So he did advocate for that. And it was an amazing uh, ordeal because he managed to get a longhouse built when longhouses were outlawed. Okay, so definite true leader. And we are practically almost done. Last stop. Ooh, chill chash, and we arrive to see this lady off. So um, this is Lizzie Christ. So um, and she was a, a large contributor and supporter of the shoot seed. So she had done a lot of recordings and she introduced um, she introduced Tom Hess to others that he was able to record and preserve more. So it was a, a group effort to have the original recordings that assist the Lachutzee language department today. So um, 
she had that wonderful small story about uh, her going to um, Hoishid in a canoe uh, with her dog. So, and her dog's name was Rover. So Rover Tizda Atuskobais. And uh, he sat in the back, she called him her captain. So, and she was the paddler. So they, they get to Hoishid, which is Kameno Head. And um, she digs for clams. And Ba-Ulu, ba ulu she goes back to her home. And it surprises her mom because she never knew or she didn't know that she was doing this. So, and like I said, I tell kids, it's like, it's like you guys going to the store or going and getting something for the house, you know, and your, your parents will probably be, ah, oh, you did that. So, and again, I think that's, it's a wonderful story that just uh, is instructed in all ages from uh, the adult Lashitsi class to the preschool to the elementary. So everybody hears about this story and uh, different levels. So she did that. So it's a neat, small story and it just, it lives on. So, okay, well, that is the end of um, my uh, remembering our ancestors and walking through Honorville. So I hope that all of you have a fantastic um, weekend and hope to see you again soon. I think we have others that'll be recording and stuff. So thank you so much. And I hope I know what I'm doing. <laughs>